welcome back to all of our relationships with Mabel Egedi. If you're new to this channel, I beg, click on the subscribe button and be a part of this growing community. So to this topic, broke boys have nothing to give except sex. You see this, this statement is a very dangerous and misleading one. By the way, it's not just guys that are broke, girls are also broke, yeah? So let's say a guy is broke. There are different reasons why a guy can be broke. It might be he's cashless at the moment because he's invested all of his money. His job is not paying him well. There's a solution to that. He's spending beyond, beyond his means. There's a solution to that. He's lost his job. There's a solution to that. He's broke, but he has prospects. So there's a solution to that. It's just momentarily. He's broke because he's lazy. You see this last one? <laughs> I don't know what the solution is. These are the kind, these ones, you see these very lazy ones, those are the ones that you need to be very careful, you know, when you meet guys like that. But you see this other one that I talked, this other reasons, all of these reasons that I listed, there are solutions to that. So let's say for instance, a guy is really tight with money, so maybe he's frugal because he's saving up to something. This one is even another reason why he's broke. So he's frugal because he's trying to save up for something or because if he spent beyond his means, before his next salary comes in, he would be, be broke, <laughs> as you said it. So he's really managing. Now, for example, let's say he's receiving 100000 and his rent is 50000 Every other expenses, you know, food, bills, and all of that takes up 40000 So he's left with just 10000 to manage, you know, for the rest of the month or even save, which is really, really little. It's not really enough for him. And this is why he's very, very frugal. One solution could be if you have been in a long-term relationship with this person and you guys have decided to get married or you guys are married or you've decided to get married. One solution is, okay, You've, you're married now, you're moving together with this person and you are also working and you're earning maybe the same amount of money with him. Let, let's give that scenario that you're earning 100,000 as well. And you have your rent, you have your own bills that you've been paying. So coming together to live with this person, it saves you money because instead of paying for two rents, you guys are now paying for one rent. So maybe, okay, because you live together, um, he, the monthly expenses now jumps from 40000 to 60000 yeah? But, so that makes it about 110000 that you guys have to set aside for, you know, your basic needs each month. And then you're left with 90000 Do you understand the logic here? That you have 90000 together. Perhaps you can even open a joint account, whatever it is. Anyways, you have 90000 extra and you guys can do whatever you choose to do with it you know things that matters to you you guys can choose you you can spend that money on it so that's one solution yeah another solution could be he's been looking for a job in the city and there are the number of applicants in big cities it's it's a lot so your chances of getting the job would be quite slim not that you're not good but because of the, the job market, the competition in the job market, it's so high. What solution can you do? You move, change city, go to a city, apply for a job in another city, whereby the rent is even cheaper, and then the competition in the job market is not as much. That's a solution. Do you understand? So when you say, broke guys, broke this, broke that, yeah, I don't want any broke guy. I don't want to see. If you're from a poor home and you say this thing, you're nothing but a gold digger. Because you're lazy as well. You're not even working. You're not doing anything. And you're saying this guy is broke. This guy is not broke. Like, can you build with this person? Reality check. There's not everybody in this life that will be wealthy or extremely wealthy. See, when you're alive, your relationship is working. It's sweet. It's beautiful. Hmm? 
you're comfortable. You are not in debt. My sister, I mean, my brother, I'm going to sleep. You are blessed. You don't have a problem. You see all these people saying, ah, broke guys have nothing to do. Broke guys. See, let me tell you, even the rich ones, yeah, they are also players. They will give you the money. Yeah? They will give you the sex. But they will never be committed to you. They would not even respect you. And that doesn't mean that there are not some rich ones that would not give you all of the things that you desire. So I'm trying not to generalize here, but I'm still trying to tell you that why don't feel entitled to someone's wealth. Don't go into a relationship depending on someone's wealth. Because the reason why lots of people are stuck, you know, in unpleasant relationships is because they have given up their financial independence to somebody else. The fact that someone is broke today does not mean that this person would be broke forever. You don't know anybody's future. You don't know people's story. When there is prospect, there is hope that things will turn around. And try to also build along with your man. Not be everybody could marry a rich man. And not be all rich man even want you, won't marry you when you even get at all, or as much as he would love. Stay your lane. Be more understanding with the guy. Yeah? There are some broke guys that, but broke guys that are, are players. These ones, we, we don't even call them broke. These ones are just, is it Casanovas? Those ones that sleep with, with women for money. I don't call them broke guys. There's another name for it, please. Gigolos. Yeah? <laughs> Gigolos, how many of them broke? I don't know. It's subjective though. This brokenness that we're talking about is subjective. But... My sister, when you meet somebody, may you like, eh? Don't let them, they tell you, say, because saying broke, this person will go day there for you. This person will day there for you. You said day there for him, and you guys can plan your life together and find solution. Every problem has solution. It's, it's more in your mind. When you're determined to break through, you break through, you break even. Okay? I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for tuning in. Do subscribe if you're yet to subscribe and take care. Bye-bye.